I've got a mouse problem. I bought this a few years back and uh, I love it, it's fine. But the middle click button, which I actually use quite often, has stopped working unless you really press it down. You can hear it clicking, but you have to really push down to get it to go. Uh, for the time being, I've been using this 10-year-old mouse, um, which also works fine and the middle click does actually function. It's just meant for a desktop computer and it's got this, well, ah, that cord on there. Today I'm hoping, uh, I'm going to open these up, I'm hoping I can fix the middle click on this on its own, which would be great. Failing that, I'm hoping to cannibalize some parts between the two of these and get a fully functional Bluetooth mouse out of my slightly broken Bluetooth mouse and fully functional USB mouse. Inside the back cover here, there's a Phillips screw there. So um, we're going to break out the impact wrench and uh, let her rip. There we go, it just pops off to the front. So that's right click there, left click, middle click, and this is the one that's not working well anymore. It just depends on the angle that you push it at. So if I push it like this, it isn't closing the document, but if you get it at the right angle, it does like that. So we might have to replace the switch here. I don't know if I have this exact switch here, but I do have a box of these on my shelf and I'll be darned if they don't look pretty similar so I'm thinking maybe I desolder this guy um, check out what the wiring is on it, desolder it and put this in and uh, maybe have a working mouse now I'm no electrician but I do know what 120 volts feels like um, these switches are wired so that the legs directly across from each other are normally connected so we can complete a circuit like that but the ones side to side are normally disconnected until you push the button. I've checked the wiring on this and this is the same kind of switch. So I'm going to pop this circuit board off and desolder it and put this switch in and see if it works. That's the switch there. On the back side of it are those four legs. There, 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 and there. That, I think, is the power input. That might be the ground. That's the ground there. So we don't want that. And you see the leg next to it is not soldered. Right there. So we want these other three legs that are soldered to desolder them and drop in the new switch, uh, which hopefully should fit right in there. There we go. That's the old switch. They honestly look pretty similar to me. There we go. Just about short of it between those two legs there. That's the new switch. Yeah, let's see if it works. Eh? And uh, I'll want the uh, impact wrench in forward for this. There's uh, there's no torque spec that I could find for this screw, so I'm going to torque it to probably five or six agadugas out of this. Buttons all still work. No still works in the middle click. Oh, that's all right click. Works. So, the Bluetooth mouse works. The USB mouse will live another day, and the problem was this little switch right here. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Feel free to subscribe for me for more content, and I hope you have a, a good day.